coming into the acoustics in January 2013, I did not have the opportunity to meet Elliot Smith because he was abroad in Australia. But despite that, however many thousand mile gap between us, I heard from him within my first week of being an acoustic. I mean, there's not really all that much you can get to know about a person over Facebook chat and a 14 hour time difference. But Elliot tried, and that meant so much to me. What I remember most clearly about those early conversations with Elliot was when I told him that the acoustics was the greatest experience of my life. He responded with, I'm glad that you get it. I guess I didn't truly understand what he meant by that at the time, but what I did understand was that there was something that I was supposed to get, and Elliot got it. This was a sentiment that I heard echoed through words of affirmation about him from other members of the group that first semester when he was absent. You're going to love Elliot, they all said. I heard time and time again that Elliot knew exactly what it meant to be an acoustic. And now that I've had the pleasure of getting to know him over the past year, I'm confident that I will have the exact same thing to say about him to every single future acoustic. As a leader in this group, Elliot is fearless and inspired. He never backs down from something challenging, like trying to facilitate 21 of us into learning four new songs for a wedding in a short three week period. He always keeps his temper in check, even when all 21 of us jailbreak and begin chatting, forever lacking the ability to organize ourselves into the infamous, infamous clump. <laughs> but most importantly, he has always maintained the perfect balance of authority and approachability. While Elliot has been an incredible president, and the supportive and positive dynamic of this massive group reflects his skill as a leader, the moments that are the most unforgettable for me are the moments that I have spent with Elliot as my friend. Like one of the first Christmas of the year in late August, when the whole front row picked up Elliot for the first time and spontaneously swung him during the intro of Too Close, <laughs> when I learned that Elliot is so goofy and quirky in the most endearing ways, Elliot makes me laugh whenever I spend time with him inside and outside of rehearsal. Or one night during Cafe Hall Week, when the pressure of a five hour rehearsal got the better of me, Elliot silently approached me sitting in the back of the room with tears in my eyes extended an arm around me, and sadly reminded me that through it all, the acoustics are there for you. When I learned that Elliot is compassionate and sensitive in both obvious and subtle ways. Or when Elliot works so hard to master his part for a project, ensuring the soloist that he will get it right. <laughs> <laughs> and when he stayed later than he needed to, just to listen to girls' projects and baby projects that he was not a part of. When I learned that Elliot is so dedicated to and passionate about this group, that he always makes the acoustics a priority in his life. Or the times when I looked unhappy at rehearsal and he simply just asked me why. When I learned that Elliot is so perceptive and has such a huge, kind heart, and he is a loyal friend who genuinely cares about every single member of this group. And then there are the things that I still can't make sense of. Like the picture from his past spring retreat in which Elliot is dangling me upside down with the most casual, nonchalant look of his <laughs> Or the time when he picked me up and threw me in the bathroom door four times in a row. <laughs> I'm sure that was like out of love or something. <laughs> or when he decided to have our Halloween show this year to embrace the role of Goldilocks clad in a horrifying pink dress. <laughs> or the infamous Dr. Krabs. <laughs>